Hi everyone and welcome back to Macaroon. It's been ages since I uploaded a dollhouse tutorial, so I think it's definitely time to revisit that. In this video, we're going to be making this bunny dollhouse tin. These are smaller and easier to make than full-size dollhouses, so it's great for beginners. First off, you have the instruction book, which is actually all in English. The set itself contains miniature pieces for the house, some sand, which is thankfully very well packaged, fake plants, different types of paper, and electrical parts for the lights. You even get a plywood stand to display the final piece, which I think is really impressive considering that the entire kit only costs $10. And of course, you also get lots of small accessories to make the details. There are many different types of these dollhouse tins, so be sure to check the shopping links below. There's also a discount code if you order within the next month. And now let's get started with the house. These pieces have all been pre-cut, which makes it easier for you to assemble. I love the level of detail here, considering how tiny everything is. There's even texture on the front wall and eight tiny window panes. Inside the instruction book are some printed pieces that you can cut out. These two pieces go inside the house, so it feels like you're actually looking inside a tiny room. Simply stick them onto the wooden pieces using a thin layer of craft glue. If you want to add lights to your room, then grab this tiny LED and thread the wires through a hole in the floor. Then assemble all the pieces of the house and hold them in place until the glue is mostly dry. Please note that hot glue doesn't work for these dollhouses because the pieces fall apart after it hardens. However, you can combine hot glue and craft glue to make it easier to hold things in place. This is shown in more detail in this video here. Next, glue on the windows and these are so tiny that you might have to use tweezers. Attaching the door was quite tricky because the instructions tell you to keep it slightly open. The easiest way to do this is to apply a generous amount of glue and then wait until it's half dry so it's less slippery. Then place the door in the correct position and use a tiny object to keep it propped open. Now glue all three sides of the house plus the floorboard into place. To make the roof, grab this piece of corrugated brown card and cut out two triangular shapes. Now comes a super fiddly bit, where you have to glue this tiny blue piece exactly between the gaps. This took a few tries, but eventually it stayed in place. Afterwards, you just need to stick the paper roof together and leave everything to dry. Now it's time to work on the tin. Cut out these two templates from the instruction book and glue them into place. Be sure to use a very thin layer of glue to prevent the paper from crinkling. One side has this adorable poem about two rabbits going to the beach. I actually tried searching this up, but it doesn't seem to be an existing poem, so it must have been written just for this kit. You can decorate this side of the tin with a tiny envelope, which is really cute and gives the impression that the poem is contained inside this letter. Then finish it up with a starfish and a tiny ribbon. Moving on to the other side. First of all, thread all the wires from the LEDs into this piece at the bottom. This might look a bit daunting if you've never crafted with electrical components before, but it's actually really easy to assemble. Just remove the insulation from the ends and twist all the gray wires together followed by the white ones. Then attach them to the grey or white wires on the battery holder. In the accessories bag, you'll find some white sticker paper. Cut out some small pieces and stick these firmly around the exposed wires. This functions as insulation and holds everything well in place. And now you can switch the lights on using the battery pack. I love this moment of making dollhouses because it looks so magical to see these tiny lights come on. 
And lastly, carefully push the battery pack and wires into this compartment so only the switch is poking out. Next, it's time to make some scenery. Cut out this paper template and trace it onto the styrofoam. Don't worry if it's not very neat because these are all going to be organic shapes. Then cover everything with a layer of brown crepe paper and sprinkle some sand on top. Apply a generous amount of glue to the back and stick it inside the tin. Try to hide as many of the wires as you can behind the hill and make sure the house sits nicely on top. You can take a scrap piece of foam and wedge it on top like this to hold everything in place while the glue dries. And now it's time to add all the remaining decorations, starting with this cute little palm tree. Then stick a tiny piece of plastic here to represent the water surface. This can be slightly tricky to get right, so once again, it helps if the glue is half dry before you try positioning it. Use the remaining crepe paper to make some underwater plants. Just cut out some small strips and twist them together at the base like this. Then arrange all the plants in the remaining space inside the tin. In case some of the wires are still visible, you can hide them easily by placing more plants on top. This part is so relaxing to do and you can get creative with all the different layers. You also get some transparent beads to represent bubbles, so stick those in anywhere you like. Then cut out some underwater creatures and place them inside. The glue is now dry, so we can remove the styrofoam piece. And as a final finishing touch, you also get some bunting, which you can decorate the house and tree with. Once the water surface is dry, place the tiny boat on top. And now these two bunnies finally have their holiday home. The smallest DIY in this whole kit is a miniature suitcase. You can see how absolutely minuscule the pieces are, including a British and Italian flag. Bend a piece of paper to make the handle and stick this very carefully onto the case. Since the fish look quite exotic, this makes me wonder if the bunnies are British and taking a holiday in Italy. Now it's time to create a treasure chest. These tiny gold pieces are actually bead toppers, but we have to cut them apart to make the clasp and decorations for the chest. Once again, you'll probably have to use tweezers to get all the tiny bits in place. Then fill it up with some treasure and leave it to dry with the lid propped half open. Place it inside the underwater cave and we're finally done with this DIY. Now you just have to switch on the light and watch this tiny dollhouse come to life. The amazing part about this kit is that the underwater LED actually changes color. This reflects on the plants and water, giving everything a magical look. This kit might be one of the easier dollhouses, but it still takes about 6 hours to make. I would recommend spreading it out over several days so you don't get tired or frustrated halfway through. The result is really beautiful and soothing to look at. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to Macaroon and Cute Life Hacks for more. If you want to see more dollhouse DIYs, then I've linked my entire playlist down below. You can also follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!